Hi, English 11 students. I am really happy to welcome you to our course. English 11, first and foremost, is a support course. The goal of the course is to help you successfully complete college level English 101, Composition 1. Everything we do in English 11, therefore, is in support of your success in your college level English class. We have a lot planned for you, so I want to just tell you how to navigate this course and make the most out of your semester. You will navigate the course in a couple of different ways. One way is just going to the content bar and using this as a table of contents. This course has, like your English 101 class, four units. The units are the same units as what you will be exposed to in English 101. Unit one is on a personal essay. Unit two is on research and integrating sources. Unit three is on summary and research writing. And unit four is on critical evaluation writing. Within each of the units, there are learning materials and assignments and this folder, the assignments and submission folder, is where you will submit all your assignments. Be sure to read through the learning materials as they are designed to assist you. Another way to navigate the course is to use these arrow keys to navigate literally, literally through a unit. So you can read through each of the learning materials for a unit. And then when you're done reading through the learning materials, by the way, you will want to click if you see any of these little arrows that indicate that there is a drop down with more information. And you will also want to watch videos that have more information for you. The arrows are also at the bottom of each page. And then if you are working your way through the course that way, you will end up in the assignments and submissions folder. Each of the units has two progress checkpoints. And then finally, a summative grade from the English 101 course is the last assignment in each unit. So we recommend that you do your best work on whatever the big assignment is for each unit in English 101. So for example, in the first unit, the big assignment is a personal essay. Not only will that count as 100 points in your English 101 class, but you will get 5%, up to 5% of your grade in this course. So it really does count as a grade in both classes. And while you don't need to submit anything extra in English 11 for this assignment, you will want to make sure that you've done your best work and you have submitted the personal essay in your English 101 class. Each unit is like that, where you would have learning materials with a, some reading, some drop downs, and some videos, and then assignments and submissions. Again, you always have two checkpoints, and then we will remind you to do your best work on the summative assignment. When you are getting started in this class, be sure to look at the course information. Again, we have instructor information, course policies and expectations, the syllabus, assignments, point values, and then some Delaware Tech materials like the evaluation measures and course awards and some additional resources and tutorials that I think you will find handy. If your course happens to be one that uses a Zoom link, you will have some information here to help you utilize Zoom. You will also have a schedule. And the schedule I think is going to be especially useful for you to keep track from week to week. So the first column says which week you are in and which unit you are in. Then the second column goes into which learning materials you should read and review that particular week. The third column 
list the activities or practices you will expect to work on that week. And then finally, the assignments are in the final column. The class is paced in such a way that you should not be overwhelmed any one week, but we can't express or stress enough to stay on track and to ask your instructor if you are struggling at all and having a hard time with any assignment so that you can get back on track very quickly. If you have any questions, be sure to see your instructor. And one more, one last thing, uh, in each of your English classes, you have what's called common modules. So these have a variety of skills and resources, such as APA, essay writing, and grammar to help you in your English course and beyond. Have a great semester.